hello all welcome back to this channel in the previous video you have learned about kohlberg's moral developmental theory in today's video we'll discuss about eric erickson's theory well known as psychosocial developmental theory eric erickson the father of psychosocial development was a german american psychologist and psychoanalyst he coined the phrase identity crisis and he was also the first psychologist to become aware of the influence of culture on behavior so yeah what is psychosocial development psychosocial development relates to one psychological development in an interaction with a social environment that is involving both psychological and social aspects in human development the three factors to erickson's theory are the interaction of the body mind and cultural influences erickson's stages of psychosocial development there are eight stages involved in this theory from infancy to old age and let's discuss them in detail So here are the eight stages from infancy to old age with approximate age and uh, when each stage is successfully resolved there develops a virtue virtue is nothing but the behavior showing high moral standards in like integrity merits principles ethics trustworthiness The first stage is trust versus mistrust It is the fundamental stage in life takes place during the first year of life that is from infancy to 18 months infants look towards the caregivers for stability as he or she is unaware of the world if they receive care which is reliable consistent then a sense of trust is developed if the reverse happens mistrust is developed and by successfully resolving this stage will lead to the virtue of hope autonomy versus shame and doubt this stage lasts between the ages of 18 months to 3 years children learns to play with toys wear their clothes themselves if children are encouraged in this stage they become confident and they can secure their abilities and be independent if they are discouraged they lack self esteem and feel a sense of shame by successfully resolving this stage the virtue developed is will initiative versus guilt this stage lasts between 3 to 5 years children make friends plan activities this develop a sense of initiative and developing their abilities to lead others if children are criticized and controlled they become followers and develop a sense of guilt they may feel like a nuisance to others success in this stage will lead to the virtue of purpose industry versus inferiority this stage lasts between 5 to 13 years children in this stage learns to read write and math children's peer group creates a source of self esteem on child If they are encouraged for their initiative they feel industrious and competent to achieve their goals if the opposite happens they begin to feel inferior and doubt their own abilities success in this stage will lead to the virtue of competence identity versus role confusion this is the stage during adolescence from age 13 to 21 years Children begin to look at future in terms of career, relationships, family, etc. The adolescent re-examines their identity to figure out who he or she is and what he or she can be. Role confusion involves the individual not being sure about themselves or their place in the society. Success in this stage will lead to the virtue of fidelity. fidelity is nothing but loyalty intimacy versus isolation this stage occurs during the early adulthood that is from 21 to 39 years 
Adults think about settling down and starting families and are more willing to sacrifice and compromise for the sake of their relationships. Successful completion in this stage can develop a sense of commitment, safety and care. Avoiding this can lead to isolation, loneliness and sometimes depression. The virtue that is developed upon resolving the crisis at this stage is love. Generativity versus stagnation. This stage occurs during the middle adulthood that is from 40 to 65 years. The primary concern of middle-aged adults is leaving a legacy. They feel they urge to be productive and make contribution to the society. And the major milestones may happen at this stage such as children leaving home, change of career paths, etc. Failure to resolve the crisis at this stage may lead uh, people to experience stagnation. They become uninterested in their environment and the people around them. People develop the virtue of care. Last stage is integrity versus despair. This stage occurs in late or old adulthood that is from 65 and older age. The old adults become senior citizens and are typically retired. It is important for them to feel a sense of fulfillment knowing that they have done something significant and made meaningful contribution to the society during their younger years. People who are unsuccessful at this stage experience despair. They feel that they have wasted their lives and experience many regrets and feel bitterness towards what they are not able to do. They wish they could have second chance. People who are successful in this stage develop a virtue, wisdom. Limitations of this theory Erickson does not explicitly explain how the outcome of one psychosocial stages influence personality at the latter stage. This theory also fails to detail exactly what type of experiences are necessary at each stage in order to successfully resolve the conflicts and move to the next stage. Thank you for watching this video and please stay tuned to know more theories in psychology.